What is up guys, today we're going to go over my top 5 favorite fan made skins in Valorant. Now keep in mind this list is opinion based, but since they are my opinions they are 100% fact and a story. Before we get started, I ask you guys to please like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with more Valorant content just like this. And at 1000 subscribers I will do a dog reveal, and keep in mind I do have two of them. Starting off this list at number 5 we have the Amethyst Camo, created by Reddit user Kelkare. Hopefully I pronounced that right, but Kelkare created a Vandal with a very nice black and silver base with gold and purple as highlight colors. I personally think the colors work really well together, especially considering the gold and purple are Laker colors, and they're my second favorite team behind the Bucks in the NBA, so that's pretty cool. But the overall design and layout is very clean. Kelkare even provided us with different colored variants of the weapon as well. My favorite definitely being the orangish one on the top left hand corner. Another skin made by Calgary, this is the Blaze skin, and to be completely honest, the color palette is absolutely lit in my opinion. The strange back to tanks on the gun definitely look like the weird tanks we found on the outpost skins we got in the previous battle pass. And again, Calculary was kind enough to give us different variants of the gun, and to be honest, I don't really know how I feel about the gun with the stripes on the top left hand corner of this graphic, but the two in the bomb row are absolutely fire, especially the bottom left hand one with that red and blue aesthetic. Great work on these first two skins. Alright, so now number three presented by Reddit user Noble Batterfly is the Melting Point Vandal, which is just freaking sick, dude. I mean, look at this thing. Like, the inside is lava. It's insane. This looks like that, like, the Ender Flame and the Reaver had a baby or something. The blue color base with red and orange highlights in the middle just look absolutely nasty. I could just already picture the upgrades for this gun, too. We'd have, like, lava orange tracers. The reload animation could have, like, remnants of lava drip out as you swap out the magazine. And the final kill animation could be something like having lava get poured on the agent who died and then it could just like melt their body into a skeleton. Really awesome work here. Number two on my list is a skin brought to you by reddit user Markflow or they also go by the name Madaro according to their post. The skin design draws its inspiration from the arowana fish. This is the Ayla phantom skin which is so clean, fresh, lit, poppin, etc, etc. My favorite color is blue, so I am a bit biased towards blue skins, but the concept of the skin is just wild. There's a lot of small intricate details all over this gun that really do make it stand out to me. Overall, 9.5 out of 10 would definitely throw money at this thing. I could picture blue tracers with some sort of like running water or splash sound when you shoot it, and the finishing kill could be like a giant fish swimming on waves coming in and eating the agent who died. That'd be wild. Our number one spot absolutely has to go to the Leviathan Phantom by Reddit user Rival Rudra. The concept for the skin is out of this world and looks like something Omen would use. We have some crazy mouth with eyes in the center of the skin with tethered robes placed by the gun stock. The colors are filthy and everything about it is just so creative. The level 2 version of this gun would have added green highlights along with what I would imagine be green tracers. Rival Rudra shows us what the reload animation would actually be like by these sketches here, which would include the tentacles around the mag would be like unwinding when you'd have to reload, and then the tentacles would like reach down and grab the next magazine to insert it in for you, hands free, while the mouth would be drooling and dripping while you reload. Now that's just crazy, man. The different variants are also out of this world. I actually like these more than the base to be completely honest. I think that the white and blue being my favorite, and the green one gives me some sky vibes with that color palette. Overall, all these different variants are just like really crazy. The colors here are really, really nice. And even to top it off, a Reddit user by the name Alpha took the liberty to create a 3D rendered model of the Leviathan skin. And I'm almost speechless. I mean, look at this thing. It's absolutely amazing for being a fan-made skin. The way it glows and how the teeth look in the middle is just freaking sick. And I'm ready to drain my wallet on this thing. Absolutely amazing job on the skin. Riot should really use some of these skins in-game because honestly, these skins are better than some of the skins we already have in Valorant. If you made it this far into the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing because that would let me know that you guys enjoy this kind of content and it'll keep you up to date with my upcoming videos. So that sounds like a win-win. Plus, at 1000 subscribers you'll see my two dogs, so that's just a total plus. Thank you so much for watching and take it easy.